You got to understand, your life is gonna be totally different from everybody else's life simply because your presence is really incredibly strong. You know it, you feel it every single time you go around strangers, when you go around people, when you go out to public places, when people come to your house, you already know your energy outweighs or it outshines most people, all right? And you probably been dealing with this for a long time. You, you probably been wondering like, you know, why you can't, why is it hard for you to make friends? Or why do people act funny when you come around? Why, why, do, why do people, you know, it feels like people are hiding something from you. Or it feels like people are being manipulative when they communicate with you. You've probably been wondering why do people act strange when they come around you? Well, listen, I'm telling you, that's because you have a, a presence, right? A presence, right? Um, and when I say presence, what I mean is energy. You probably got other spirit beings that hang with you everywhere you go to assist you. You probably got angel guys that in, in the spirit realms that's around you, okay? Some of you probably surrounded with legions of angels and archangels everywhere you go. You can feel the presence. You are you are being guided by something, okay? Like I said, this could be angels, man. You know, this could be your ancestors, you know, always looking out for you. When you get into other people's presence, Presence, no matter where you go, it'll always be with you. No matter where you go, people notice it, okay? Because in other words, it's like it's your aura. It's your aura, all right? Sometimes people might say you glowing up or sometimes people might say, wow, you look like, you look like, you you look real good today, man. Is you, everything all right? That's because you sometimes you glowing up as a chosen one. Sometimes your aura could become so radiant that you could begin to glow. Your skin will begin to shine. Your eyes will begin to get big. You know what I mean? The hair follicles you'll begin to shine and, and, and you know, you just begin to look extremely like powerful, okay? And that's very noticeable because everybody can't do this. Everybody don't have this privilege to be chosen, all right? Um, I don't know if y'all know anything about the Bible, but I kind of decoded what it meant um, when, you know, the story of Joseph, you know, Joseph was also chosen by God in the Bible. And it was a scripture in the Bible that said that Joseph had a coat of many colors. OK, now, if you was a dumb person or if you was looking at it from a, a, a worldly point of view, say oh, a coat of many colors. What do you mean? Like different colors of patches on the coat? No. Everything is symbolic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What it really meant was he had an aura that was bright in many colors. When your aura is really big, you will know it because when you get into people's presence, they change instantly. They change instantly. Like when your aura is full of many colors, you got all the colors, the white, pink, blue, green. That mean you are, that mean, I'm gonna give you an example. Do you know how light is reflected through a prism, like a clear prism or, or a magnifying glass. When, if you was to look at it closely, okay, through infrared, you will see the light being reflected through glass or a prism in multiple different colors, okay? Just like the Pink Floyd logo, that's what that symbolizes, okay? That's what, that's energy, okay? That means energy is coming through you and it is reflecting out side of you in many different colors. That's what it means to have a coat of many colors. And what, what happened with Joseph's brothers? They was jealous of him. Why? Because he was chosen. He had a strong presence. See, that's one thing you got to understand about your presence. You have power, all right? That's basically, at the end of the day, that's basically what this is all about. You have been given authority. You have been given power. There's nothing that you can't have, okay? There's nothing that you cannot do. There's nothing that people can do to you behind your back that you will not know. You are lit, okay? You are lit, all right? And so when you come around on the when you come on the scene, man, it could be anywhere, man. It, it could be the baby shower, man. It could be the family cookout, all right? It could be at a meetup. Anytime you come on the scene, all eyes on you. Maybe that's what Tupac felt when he made the song All Eyes On Me. Maybe he felt like that because I know he was the chosen one. He had a different purpose in life, all right? But when you hit the scene, you feel like everybody's looking at you. You feel like everybody's making moves according to what, where you're located. You feel like people talking behind your back and that's because they is. You picking up on everything that's going around you intuitively. And see, most of the time, these people, they know you're the chosen one. But like I said, they never gonna admit to it because it's just not, it, it doesn't make them look good. 
all right? So they never gonna say that you make them nervous. They never, some of them might, they never gonna say, oh my God, your energy's really bright. You know, they're not gonna say, oh man, you have a great future. They, they're not gonna say these things. They're not gonna say, oh, you, you are talented, you are special. How do you know? Because I can sense it on you, I can see it. But they not gonna tell you that, okay? But they can sense it, they can sense it. Cause it's on a much deeper level than what the eye can see, okay? But they sense it to you, all right? Sometimes your energy levels might be so high, you get around people, they start dropping stuff. They dropping their keys, they dropping their wallet, they drop their cell phone. Just because you walk by, they just drop something. Or when you walk onto a location, the light comes on. You know, and it's the street light. The street light comes on. Shit, when you leave, the street light go off. You know what I mean? You'll just notice all kind of just miraculous, phenomenal things that will happen because you in somebody else's presence or you own the scene. All right. It attract a lot of people to you that's not good for you. And it's going to be it's going to feel weird. You're going to be wondering, like most of the time, you're probably going to be wondering, like, why do people just abandon you so easy for just the pettiest things? Why people want to start drama for you for nothing? Why I feel like people want to take everything that you have and you trying to barely have make it for yourself. You, people going to do the darndest things. You're going to just be like, yo, why did they literally just walk around me as if I wasn't standing here? They know you were standing there. They just can feel and sense that you the chosen one. So they trying to get in front of you so they you can see them. People will do people going to do all kind of little antics and just do all kind of just just weird shit for the simple fact that they feel like you are better than them. And then they're just, just going to want your attention. Okay? Your, your presence is strong everywhere you go, okay? It, you ever been in the, in the house and you had next door neighbors and you felt like people was listening to you? That's a sign that your presence is strong, okay? You ever been in, in a department store, let's let's say Macy's or, or Dillard's or something to go shopping, right? And you, you, you in an area shopping for a shirt and ain't nobody in that area. Ain't nobody over there but like one person over there in that one area shopping for a shirt and then you look up 20 25 minutes later it's like 10 15 people around you shopping in that area that's because once again you're the chosen one and your presence is hard to ignore people saw you in the store and they seen that you glow up okay they see that you glow up they think that you somebody all right and they want to come and be around you they want to get next to you they want to talk to you they want to figure out who are you you know what I mean? You ever uh, had people that say, I know you from somewhere. You ain't seen them a day in your life. They just be like, I know you from somewhere. I can't think of it. I, you look like somebody I know. Is it Denver's son? Uh, I can't think of it. See, they don't know. They don't know you. They don't know you from a hole in the wall, from a can of paint. But see, that what they trying to do is, they, they try to, they, what they trying to do is, they trying to comprehend what they don't understand. They trying to comprehend why you make them feel the way they feel. You know what I mean? They trying to comprehend this 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 energy that's coming off of you, this, this specialness that's coming off of you, but they can't comprehend it. Not, they don't comprehend it. But you can sense that it, it, they, they, they picking up on something. They can sense that they picking up on something. Okay, because that's what people do. People walk around every day with their radars up, ready to pick up on the next best thing, okay? You know, so, you know, being a chosen one, that's one thing that you have to understand everywhere you go. And you got to get to a point that you know how to move right. You know how to, you got to move different. You got to start moving like the first lady and the president. You got to start moving real different. Okay, you got to be real strategic with the way you move. You got to watch who you hang out with. You got to ask who's all over there. I mean, don't just go over somebody's house if you don't even know who over there. Ask the people when they calling you and they inviting you to the show or they invite you to the club or whatever. Ask, so who's going to be there? Let me know who's going to be there because all of this determines how it's going to make you feel. Okay? And so since you're the chosen one and your presence is strong everywhere you go, it's going to be people that follow you. It's going to be people that try to gang stalk you. It's going to be people that just try to just come up to you and just say a little smart, slick shit. You know what I mean? They're going to be hating on you for no reason. They don't even got to know you. But the simple fact that you a chosen one, they're going to talk negative to you. They're going to talk toxic to you. They're going to tell you that you ain't no good. They're going to talk about your mistakes and everything. All of this is for you to 
be attentive to them. People want attention. And once they see the chosen one, like yourself come around, it's it's a competition to get your attention. Okay? It's a competition to get your attention. All right? So I just made this video to let you know, man, everywhere you go, man, you really hard to ignore and, and people cannot get over you. Okay? They, they probably thinking about you right now. All right? Can't nobody get over you. Okay? You are not to be forgotten.